Hey everyone, welcome to another video and today we have a Titans Return figure and it is Titans Return Blur. Absolutely awesome figure, one of my favourites from the Titans Return series. <clears throat> and you have to excuse the uh, the voice today. I am ill, it's probably coronavirus or some crap. But uh, yeah, let's get into Blur. So here we have Blur, who is one of the fastest Autobots, if not the fastest Transformer, just in general really. And uh, yeah, he is one of my favorite Titans Return figures, just in every way possible. Like there is, I can't fault this figure really for anything. And uh, <clears throat> you have to excuse me with the uh, the voice here today as I'm ill quite badly and it's probably coronavirus or something. But hey, videos and blur. <laughs> yeah, let's get into this guy's paint apps, stuff like that, because these stickers, I'm not a fan of on a Titans Return stuff, so I'm glad there's only just the two little ones here on the, uh, the shins. But there is some nice metallic dark blue paint there onto the normal, sort of, it's slightly metallic. So metallic lighter blue. And obviously you've got the nice blue there, and the head sculpt is amazing. And also has probably the most playability in one of these Titan Masters just ever from the Titans Return series because you have Blair's a little bit like that. I only just realised this recently when I was properly, you know, sort of playing around with them trying to figure out how to transform them and stuff like that because I lost instructions. And I was just like, you know, he's not very reminiscent of the G1 character. There's no sort of weird air ram on the on the head. And then I was just sort of, oh, that's a bit loose there. Pulled it up and ta-da! You have that, which is awesome. Love that. And obviously, this also carries over to the vehicle mode, which I will show you after the transformation. I also love his chrome blaster here. It's very slim and sleek, which suits his character and his style. Uh, obviously, the paint apps are very, very good. Like this matte, sort of light blue and grey. Grey duck egg blue. It's absolutely amazing. But yeah. This guy is super cool. I just love the detail, especially that that chest piece reminds me of one of the uh, the DJD members. I can't remember his name for the life of me, but the one that decides to acid bath people in his chest, which is really cool. And I'm just a fan of clear windscreens rather than just blackout <clears throat> pieces of plastic that I use. But let's get into this guy's posability. So as for every Titan Master, you have a 360 degree. Don't hold me to that, actually. Most Titan Masters have a 360 degree, but you get basically no up and down movement or tilt, ever so slight. Uh, but obviously, off he comes. And this here is Hyperfire, who is his headmaster. Obviously, a very nicely painted little figure. Especially like the uh, the chrome and the black. These guys in this mode usually aren't very well painted and they just have the basic, maybe a face or maybe an arms or something. This guy has quite a lot of paint detail. One thing he does sacrifice is very, very little outer movement here with the arms. Obviously you do have the swivel but only to there because of the head. And you've got full flexibility up and down with the legs, obviously no side to side action or anything like that. That is it for Hyperfire, apart from his uh, little scoop. Sit over there. Obviously with Blur you've got his accessory, which is a nice sleek looking Cybertronian blaster. And with Blur himself, obviously you've got the backpack, which moves and can become a uh, pyramid head reminiscent Silent Hill looking character with a nice chest hole, but that obviously is where the wheel should sit because this is on a lovely double joint there. And the wheel, I think, yeah, sits in there. At the arms, obviously, you have the up and down and they are on a ball joint, I believe. Are they on a ball joint? No, they're in a, uh, a twisty, rotatey bit. So you've got your full 360 degree rotation there. The up and downs. You've got your bicep rotation, you've got your elbow swivelage, then you've got that far because obviously you've got this section here, the bicep, and this bit here. Um, you've got your wrist rotation, and you've got a nice little double joint here at the arm piece, so that goes there, and that can go forward, and that fits in nicely with the transformation. 
So we've also, moving now further to the body, we have a nice waist rotation. Two ball joints here, which can mean he can do a nice split, like so. And front to back, we have a very nice split with the knees, single knee joint, as per usual. Gives him a nice, very sharp knee pose ability there. And uh, no pivot, but we, all, we have a toe bend which is pretty neat. And that does it for his pose ability. Now let's get into his transformation. Cybertronian vehicle mode and it looks amazing and is very very reminiscent of the G1 styling and kibble wise you can't really see a robot there let's be honest I mean apart from the hands you won't really be able to tell it's a robot absolutely cool looking mode I love it and I love the uh, the scoop which translates over very well same with his, uh, his shield here at the front of the nose gun and uh, yeah this bit here is for the sort of secret mode if you like but uh yeah it looks awesome look how streamlined that is and that very much suits his uh, his character well, and then you can open that up and you can stick your little hyperfire figure unfold him and sit him in there nicely like so if he wants to behave that is get in there there ta-da something you can do same with this blaster, there's no way really for it apart from on the side there, but it's quite stiff and I'm going to be honest, that looks quite daft unless you're going to go get another one and stick one on the other side, which then would bounce it up quite well. Uh, that's a thing, I'm not supposed to redo that, but hey ho, you can do what you want with it. And yeah, that is his uh, Cybertronian alt mode, should we say. Now, the next one, I'm not going to do the whole music thing, because the next one is purely just a sort of Titan Master Seat kind of thing. Just going to want to pop these off here. Next, simply get that out of there. You see this joins in here. You just want to pull this shield section away from that. So those blades there will go back into these holes here. And then fold that back up. Tuck that back in for transformation. That's it. Then you're going to want to take that little landing gear and stick Hyperfire in here. Like that. And this goes somewhere I can't quite remember. Oh, that plugs into there. That. And that becomes his ski kind of mode. I don't know what it's called. But it's like a ski mode. So you got Little Bear on the shield. Or hyperfire on the shield, and uh, Blair looking kind of sorry for himself, really. But yeah, that is Titan's Return Blair. One of my favorite Titan's Return figures, like I said. Uh, I will be doing my favorite very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you like the video, remember go drop a thumbs up, it really helps the channel out. And if you want to see more, subscribe, hit the notification icon so you can stay up to date with when I upload, and comment your favorite Titan's Return figure in the comments. I'll be very interested to find out. So thank you guys for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.